it's summer and when your room is not cooling down to the temperature set on the thermostat because the air blowing out of your AC vents is not cold and the outside AC unit's fan is not turning, then the number one culprit is a bad run capacitor which costs around $175 at the low end and over $400 at the high end to replace if you were to call an HVAC technician to do it. But replacing a capacitor in an air conditioner is an easy DIY fix with the part costing less than $20 from Amazon. Before I take off the electrical panel cover, it's very important to stop the power that's going to the AC by disconnecting here. You grab the black handle and pull straight out. You can just leave it out or turn it upside down and put it back, which will keep the power disconnected. And you see that the off is now upright instead of inverted. I just wanted to show you the disconnect to my other AC just so you can see they don't all look the same. The panel where you see wires going into the AC is where you'll find the electrical components and the capacitor. Now I'm just taking the screws off so that I can pull the panel cover off. Okay, so this is the capacitor, the silver part here, and I'm going to take it out to see what condition it's in. And if it's in very bad condition, that could very well be the problem. I'm just unscrewing the bracket that's holding the capacitor in place. By the way, what you see to the right of the run capacitor that I'm taking off is another capacitor known as a hard start capacitor. Anyway, it's the run capacitor that you'll need to worry about. Now it's highly recommended that you discharge the capacitor just in case there's some charge left in it even after the power was turned off. Here's a capacitor with terminals labeled FAN, HERM, and C. You can discharge the capacitor by taking a screwdriver with an insulated handle and touching it to the C and the HERM terminals. and also touching it to the C and the fan terminals while holding on to the plastic handle and not touching the metal part of the screwdriver. This is not the capacitor I'm replacing in this video, but I wanted to show you that normally you would discharge a capacitor while it's still connected to the wires in the AC unit. Every time I discharge the run capacitor from an AC, nothing happened. But here's a video clip from YouTube showing how you can get a spark while discharging a capacitor. Here's an important tip. Be sure to take photos from multiple angles of how the wires were connected to the old capacitor so that you can see exactly which wires should be connected to which terminal on your new capacitor. I have started taking the wires off and just wanted to show you how I'm using needle nose pliers to grab the metal lens to pull the wires off. Now I'm going to go over how to order the right replacement capacitor for your AC and in order to help you understand what specs you need to be looking at, I'm going to give you a quick tutorial on capacitors. These capacitors help motors do their job. Here's a capacitor with a negative and a positive terminal, but the run capacitor in an AC unit has three terminals, and that's because it's a dual capacitor, a capacitor that's actually two capacitors in one and can support not one, but two electric motors. In the AC, that will be the compressor motor and the fan motor. The three terminals on a dual capacitor are labeled HERM, FAN, and C. HERM denotes hermetic compressor, and this terminal is where the wires to the compressor motor are connected. The terminal labeled FAN is where the wires to the FAN motor are connected, and C stands for common, as in common feed, and this terminal is connected to the contactor and the common leg of the power supply. The wires get connected to these prongs, and more prongs allow more wires to be connected to a terminal. You need to make sure that the wires are connected to the right terminal, but it doesn't matter to which prong in that terminal. Now let's go over the specs in the capacitor. You're going to see numbers followed by what looks like letters U and F. This is actually a Greek letter mu, which is a symbol for micro, and F stands for farads. 
So this dual capacitor, which is like two capacitors in one, has a capacitor that is rated as 5 microfarads for the smaller fan motor and a capacitor rated 40 microfarads for the larger compressor motor. You also have the voltage of the capacitor and 370V AC tells you that the voltage of this capacitor is 370 volts. You can use the model number to buy the exact same capacitor from the same maker, but you don't have to get the exact same capacitor as long as the ratings of your new capacitor are the same as the ratings of your old capacitor with respect to the microfarad rating and the voltage. Now it's okay to replace a capacitor with a new capacitor that has a higher voltage and or higher microfarad rating, but you shouldn't go lower. Here's a close-up of the old capacitor. I don't own an electric meter to test it, but this sure looks like it needs to be replaced and it'll be cheaper to replace it than to go buy an electric meter to test it. It's a GE capacitor. I believe this is the model number 97F9849 and I found it on Amazon 97F9849. I also see here that it is rated for 40 microfarads for the compressor and 5 microfarads for the fan and 370 VA AC rating for the voltage, just like the original part. 40 microfarads, 5 microfarads, and 370 VAC. My part costs $12.99 plus tax, but they usually range from about $10 to $25. And here's my new part that came two days later. Now I'm connecting all the wires to my new capacitor. I know exactly where to connect the wires because I had taken pictures of how the wires were connected to the old capacitor. Now I'm screwing back on the bracket that's holding the capacitor in place. Now I'm closing up the panel. and screwing the panel cover back on. Finally, I'm reconnecting the power to the AC. This was a successful repair. My house is cool and I'm a happy camper.